Our system at the college prior to this uh, contract was very archaic as far as being able to control areas, to control lighting, to control our uh, conditioned air throughout the colleges or to address different regions by themselves. We had to do it manually. A lot of our systems ran 24-7 at the same temperature. What we did in 2005 and 2006, and it truly is unique, is we benchmarked against world best practices. We brought in a team of local and global experts who were well versed in energy practices and what they wound up doing was number one benchmarking us against similar institutions in Austria, same climate as we do, same way we operate and what we found out was that from an energy standpoint we were energy inefficient. So we wound up using that same team of global experts to come in and develop a roadmap for us that was basically decision engineered and financially modeled and tested. So we now had a roadmap that could show us that we could save substantial reductions in energy, basically in the 50 to 60 percent range, and that also would relate to a 50 to 60 percent reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. You start with a uh, facility audit uh, looking at uh, different energy consuming devices in the plant, the uh, HVAC equipment, the lighting, building envelope, uh, windows, weatherization, uh, water usage uh, devices uh, where you would go through and evaluate the efficiency of those systems, look at new technologies. Basically what uh, you're doing is uh, looking at a budget neutral process where the guaranteed energy savings would pay back uh, the debt service. We did have five uh, energy conservation measures that we settled on with Siemens Building Technologies, part of their proposal. And those five were a building management system, heating and ventilation and air conditioning retrofits and upgrades, uh, water conservation measures, uh, lighting conservation measures, and also a, a small energy conservation measure that addressed building envelope issues. How we address those is again the amount of payback that those different uh, energy conservation measures provided the college. In this case, our capital project cost is about 6.3 million, represents about five to six percent of the replacement value of our facilities. But from a payback standpoint, when it comes to energy savings, operating savings, and future avoided capital costs, because we are eliminating a lot of boilers and chillers, we're probably going to be saving about $800,000 annually. So the payback, uh, simple payback, was less than 10 years. I think it was actually less than nine years. The engineering solution proposed by Siemens Building Technologies was to interconnect the mechanical rooms of our campus, roughly half a million square feet that were serviced by four major mechanical rooms. So in this mechanical room, for example, uh, we have a number of pumps, we have new boilers. These two pumps are handling the heating load for today, what used to be 25 pumps. These two boilers behind me, high efficiency boilers, are handling what 10 boilers used to do. And Siemens accomplished that by interconnecting the buildings with 8 inch hot and cold water pipes. We still have chillers, we still have boilers in every mechanical space. We either have less of them or we have more efficient ones. What we do is not so much centralize our heating and cooling as to loop it. So they're all connected now, not running out of one area, but staged in sequence with our building management system to come online as needed, go offline as needed, but serving the whole complex, half a million square feet. Nobody's really able to predict what electricity costs are going to be in three years. Most contracts are 10 to 15 years in nature, so it's critically important to base the savings on units and then dollarize those uh, into either current rates or reasonable rates if, uh, if you know uh, alongside your customer that rates are either going to drastically increase or decrease. And in that sense, what you'll have is a truer uh, financial uh, picture of, of the success of the project in terms of the energy savings. Now we have the ability for every individual classroom not only to control the lighting but also to control the conditioned air. If that room occupancy sensor picks up that nobody has been in that room for a period of time, not only will the lights go off, 
but the conditioned air will drop off to a set point. There are a lot of steps. I mean, gathering utility information is a critical step. Uh, it takes time to get that information and to uh, benchmark your usage uh, to other clients in similar uh, conditions and, and uh, to know where you're at, to walk the building, to look at uh, uh, blueprints and uh, nameplate information on main pieces of equipment. It does take a little bit of time, but I would say uh, from the initial uh, first call to the uh, substantial completion at the end of the construction project, uh, somewhere between 12 to 18 months. One of the elements of the energy performance contract was building envelope where they went around and did door sweeps and sealed the windows and caulked some of our brick areas. Outside of the contract, we started pursuing other green and sustainable technologies. For example, we did our green roof here a few years ago as part of a different contract. This past summer, we installed a new roof on our technologies building. Uh, in addition to increasing the insulation on that roof, we also put a Solex covering on it, which gives us an Energy Star rating for the roof. Uh, it's been very interesting just over the past summer the amount of energy savings we've seen in the realm of 35 to 40 percent just with the new insulation. So we're very excited about that. The philosophy at Lakeland is if we are, if we are going in to touch a facility in any aspect, we want to consider energy savings on it. We want to consider sustainability issues associated with it. We have a great opportunity from, from this. We are lowering our utility costs substantially. When it comes to natural gas, we're reducing our natural gas by 46 percent, we're reducing our electrical consumption by 36 percent, and water and sewer by about 20 percent. So it's phenomenal.